Lieutenant Commander Data was a soon type android, the first and only ever to enter Starfleet. Data was created sometime in the 2230s and was destroyed in 2379, sacrificing himself to save the crew of the USS Enterprise E. Data was comprised of 24.6 kilograms of tripolymer composites, molybdenum cobalt alloys, and 1.3 kilograms of bioplast sheeting. All told, his mass was approximately 100 kilograms. Data's upper spinal support was a poly alloy designed to withstand extreme stress. His skull was comprised of chondrite and duranium. His legs were exactly 82.7 centimeters in height. Data was built with an ultimate storage capacity of 800 quadrillion bytes and a total linear compatual speed related at 60 trillion operations per second. Data's construction also includes an artificial tongue and tear ducts. As a soon type android, Data was incapable of alcohol intoxication. Yet components in his processing systems were susceptible to disruption by poly water intoxication. He did not require sustenance, but occasionally ingested semi-organic nutrition suspension in a silicone-based liquid medium to lubricate his biofunction. Data also demonstrated an immunity to telepathy and other psionic abilities. Deanna Troy could not sense him empathically, nor was he affected by telepathic broadcasts of the Bendai Syndrome. Data has an aging program designed to simulate the external effects of aging in physical appearance. The blinking of eyes was governed by a four series to simulate randomness. In 2369, Dr. Julian Bashir further expressed his fascination for all the trouble soon took to... He was especially surprised on how personable Data was. He also questioned Data about whether his hair grew and observed that Data was breathing and that had a pulse. Together, Bashir and Data investigated an alien device. The device emitted a plasma shock that overloaded Data's positronic net, activating a series of previously dormant circuits that subsequently gave Data the ability to dream. Data apparently has been left-handed or at least seems to favor his left hand for tasks such as painting, using a pen, gun tricks, and more. Data asserted that he did not only perceive facts and data, but also substance and flavor, and other ineffable qualities to the experience. Data always sought to become human in his behavior, sometimes with unfortunate results. His attempts at humor were not successful, nor were his attempts at romance and love. He maintained a relationship with Jenny DeSora, but it did not last long. During his stay on board the Enterprise, Data kept a cat as a pet, whom he named Spot. Spot was quite fussy in her relationship. Besides Data, she was only enjoyed the company of Reginald Barclay. She also had kittens in 2370. In 2371, Spot survived the destruction of the Enterprise. Data, newly imbued with emotions as a result of his remotionship, cried tears over Spot's survival. The Emotion Chip Data began using the Emotion Chip in 2371, about a year after he re acquired it from his brother Lore. At first, he had some difficulties adjusting to the onslaught of emotions, such as things as scanning for life forms on a planet caused him great pleasure. Whereas, by contrast, Data was temporarily immobilized with terror when put in a situation where he would experience fear for the first time. He eventually learned how to control feelings, and after that initial adjustment period, 
he was able to activate and deactivate the chip's functioning within the Poxitronic net, and later even to remove it completely in situations where emotions would be a hindrance. Data was the fifth of six known androids designed by Dr. Nulian Soon. He was constructed on a planet Omicron Theta around 2363, after his brother Lore had been deactivated. Over the protests of Soon's wife, Juliana, Soon claimed that he built Data to be perfect his design of the androids, and when Data was perfected, applied his improvements to Lore. In his early existence, Data was much like a baby, struggling with motor control and sensory input, subsequently learning the patience of Nulian and Julian soon. Data claimed that he had no one to guide him in developing sentience. Over time, Data had learned about himself and his world, and his programming was refined by Dr. Soon, who attempted to eliminate certain undesirable behaviors. Problems including a disregard for social niceties, courtesies like please and thank you, and a lack of appreciation for clothing. In regards to the latter issue, the Soons had to write a modesty subroutine because the colonists objected to an anatomically accurate android being unclothed. Eventually, the Soons decided to program data with logs and journals of the colonists, while simultaneously wiping the, his memory of his earlier existence. Unfortunately, the crystalline entity attacked before data was reactivated. Data was discovered abandoned by the colonists by an away team from the USS Tripol. After the crystalline entity destroyed the entire colony on the planet, his connection with Starfleet resulted in a choice to enter Starfleet Academy. Upon applying admittance to the Academy, Data met with some resistance from Bruce Maddox, who desiring the opportunity to avail the cybernetic research interest became, as Data put it, the only member of the evaluation committee to oppose Data's entrance on the grounds that he was not a sentient being. Eventually, Data was admitted to the Academy in 2341 and spent four years there. Prior to 2364, Data had been cited in several biomechanical texts. During his time in Starfleet Academy, Data did extremely well scholarly, but his lack of understanding often created social obstacles for him. He fell victim to several practical jokes and had difficulties with social gatherings. Nonetheless, in 2345, Data graduated with honors in exobiology and probability mechanics. One of Data's first assignments after he graduated Starfleet Academy was on board the USS Tressley. He spent three years there as an ensign and twelve as a lieutenant before promoted to lieutenant commander in 2360. In 2364, he was assigned to the USS Enterprise D as the second officer. By 2365, Data earned the Starfleet Command Decoration for Gallantry, Medal of Honor with Clusters, Legion of Honor, and the Star Cross. By early 2368, Data had encountered 1,754 non-human races during his tenure with Starfleet. Enterprise Data served as Operation Officer and Second Officer on board the USS Enterprise D from 2364 until the vessel's destruction in 2371. Since he did not require sleep, he routinely stood night watch on the bridge. Data's quarters were located on Deck 2, Room 3653. He frequently participated in many of the away team missions, undertaken his, his speed of thought and great strength made him an important asset to the Enterprise D, and the fact that he was unaffected by disease, radiation, or mind control was vital in more than one occasion. In 2366, Data perfected submicronic matrix transfer technology necessary to reproduce a positronic brain. Data designed and built his daughter, whom Data named Law. 
Data says LOL means beloved in Earth's Hindi language. LOL ceased functioning due to a positronic neural pathway cascade failure arising from a positronic development with LOL of the simulation of human psychology emotional response. This despite the best efforts of Data and Hafto to prevent LOL's positronic matrix from ceasing to function as a result. Many agreed with data that the soon type androids were sufficiently advanced to be considered indeed sentient so much that as of 2372 data was considered the only sentient life form in the federation society by 2379 data was expected to succeed commander Riker as first officer following Riker's promotion to captain of the USS Titan en route to Beta Z for the second phase of Riker's wedding to Counselor Troy, the Enterprise discovered B-4, one of three prototype soon type androids Data had learned about years earlier, physically identical to him, having a less sophisticated positronic brain. Trying to help him become more human, Data copied his own memories into B-4's positronic net. Before Data could take the role of first officer of the Enterprise, the Enterprise was ordered to Romulus, where a new Praetor, Shinzon, had come to power. Shinzon's self-assured good intentions, however, were soon found to be false. In reality, Shinzon was discovered to be a clone of P Captain Picard, and due to genetic degeneration, he was in need of Picard's blood in order to restore his own life. After Shinzon vessel the Scimitar had all but destroyed the Enterprise, Shinzon planned to eliminate the crew with his Thaderon radiation weapon before turning it on Earth. Though Picard was able to defeat Shinzon in hand-to-hand -hand combat, Picard was trapped on board the Scimitar due to damage to the Enterprise's transporters. With no other option, Data elected to physically jump into the vacuum of space through a small hull breach in the forward section of the Enterprise, and force his way on board the scimitar from the outside, proceeding to the scimitar's bridge. Data utilized a prototype emergency transport unit concealed in his forearm to return Picard to the Enterprise. With the Thadeon radiation weapon seconds from firing, Data used his phaser to destroy it, which resulted in the complete destruction of the scimitar and Data as well. As the Enterprise crew mourned the loss of their fallen comrade, Captain Picard attempted to explain Data's uniqueness to B-4. Though to the captain's dejection, the android did not understand. However, B-4 soon began to quietly sing the same song that Data had previously sung, quote, Blue Skies, at Riker's wedding, to himself. Though Data was gone, perhaps his memories would continue to live on.